G'day. Designing motorcycle jumps like this uses the mathematics of trigonometry. The tangent rule is the easiest and the most useful of the three trigonometry rules. Today we'll learn three methods to use the tangent rule and great tricks to remember them. So why is the tangent rule useful? Well, the tangent of an angle is a mathematical operation that is the ratio of two sides of a right-angled triangle. That means that in any right-angled triangle you only need to know two measurements, like the lengths of two sides or one angle on one side. And then if you use the rule, you can work out what all of the sides and all of the angles in the triangle are. That's a lot faster than guessing measurements by trial and error. Now let's see the tangent rule. In this right angle triangle, here is the right angle. Opposite the right angle is the longer side called the hypotenuse. This angle here is marked with the Greek letter called theta. Opposite the theta angle is the side called the opposite side. Next to the theta angle is the side called the adjacent side. The rule is that the tangent of an angle marked theta equals the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. In short, we say tan theta equals O divided by A. There are two more things to know before we do some examples. Notice that the tan rule has no hypotenuse in its rule, so this rule is used a lot in building design to work out vertical heights and horizontal lengths. We also use a scientific calculator. There is a tan button on the calculator. This tan button has all of the calculations for the theta angles that compare the vertical and horizontal lengths. That's the opposite sides divided by the adjacent sides in right angle triangles. Now we're ready to see examples. In this first example, we will calculate the vertical height of this jump. It's the opposite side that we mark with an X. The two things we already know are the size of the angle of 40 degrees and the length of this adjacent side of 5 metres. The first step is to write the tan rule. Tan theta equals opposite side divided by adjacent side. Next, substitute the numbers that we know. Angle theta is 40 degrees. The opposite side is marked with the letter X because that's what we're trying to find. And the adjacent side is 5 metres. So tan 40 equals X divided by 5. Now we want to find the length of the opposite side. That's the X. Right now, X is divided by 5. So to get X by itself, we will multiply both sides of the equation by 5. That cancels out the 5 and leaves x by itself. We usually write the x on the left side of the equation and the working on the right side like this. So x equals tan 40 multiplied by 5. Tan is a mathematical operation on an angle. Using the calculator, the tangent of an angle of 40 degrees is 0.8391. How we type into a calculator can vary from one calculator to another, so it's important to learn how your own calculator works. x equals 0.8391 multiplied by 5. We use the calculator again just to do the multiplication. 0.8391 multiplied by 5 equals 4.2 metres. That means in this jump, if the angle of the jump is 40 degrees and the horizontal length is 5 metres, the vertical height of the jump is 4.2 metres. Now here's a useful trick when you find the opposite side using the tan rule. If x is on the top, you times in the next line. t for top, t for times. Let's see another example to find the opposite side. In this example, we'll also let the calculator do a bit more work to save time. In this triangle, angle theta is 50 degrees and the adjacent side is 8 metres. First, write the tan rule. Tan theta equals opposite side divided by adjacent side. 
Next, substitute the numbers that we know. Angle theta is 50 degrees. The opposite side is x because that's what we're trying to find. And the adjacent side is 8 metres. So, tan 50 equals x divided by 8. Now we want to find the length of the opposite side, that's the x. Right now, x is divided by 8. So to get x by itself, we multiply both sides of the equation by 8. That cancels out the 8 and leaves x by itself. Then we write the x on the left side and the working on the right side, like this. So x equals 1050 multiplied by 8. To make it easier, we can do this in one step on the calculator. 1050 multiplied by 8 is the answer that x equals 9.5 metres. That means that in this jump, if the angle of the jump is 50 degrees and the horizontal length is 8 metres, the vertical height of the jump is 9.5 metres. Remember the trick when x is on the top of the fraction? If x is on the top, you times in the next line. t for top, t for times. Now we'll do an example to find the adjacent side using the tan rule. Here the adjacent side is the horizontal length of the jump. We mark the adjacent side with an x because that's what we're trying to find. The two things we already know are the size of this angle of 30 degrees and the length of the opposite side of 6 metres. First write the tan rule. Tan theta equals opposite side divided by adjacent side. Now substitute the numbers and the x. Angle theta is 30 degrees, the opposite side is 6 metres and the adjacent side is x. Notice that x is down on the bottom of the fraction. To get x by itself, we have two steps. We multiply both sides of the equation by x, and then divide both sides of the equation by tan 30. We simplify this to x equals 6 divided by tan 30. Using the calculator, tan 30 is 0.5774. Then 6 divided by 0 0.5774 gives the answer that x equals 10.4 metres. The horizontal length of this jump is 10.4 metres. Now here's another great trick to remember when x is down on the bottom of the fraction. If x is down, you divide in the next line. d for down, d for divide. Let's do another example to find the adjacent side using the tan rule. In this example, we'll also let the calculator do a bit more work to save time. The adjacent side is marked with an x. The two things we already know are the angle of 20 degrees and the opposite side of 4 metres. First, write the tan rule. Tan theta equals opposite side divided by adjacent side. Now substitute the numbers and the x. Angle theta is 20 degrees. The opposite side is 4 metres and the adjacent side is x. Notice that x is down on the bottom of the fraction? Well, to get x by itself we've got two steps. Multiply both sides of the equation by x and then divide both sides of the equation by tan 20. So x equals 4 divided by tan 20. To save time, we'll do this in one step using the calculator to get an answer of x equals 11 metres. The horizontal length of this jump is 11 metres. Remember, if x is down, you divide in the next line. d for down, d for divide. For the third method of the tangent rule, we will find the size of the angle marked theta. In this example, we already know that the opposite side is 4 metres and the adjacent side is 5 metres. Write the tan rule. Tan theta equals opposite side divided by adjacent side. This time, because we are trying to find the size of the angle, the unknown thing we are trying to find is theta. The opposite side is 4 and the adjacent side is 5. Now this example is a bit different to the previous examples because this time we're working in reverse to find the angle. We have to tell the calculator that we are working in reverse. 
so we press shift before we press the tan button. The calculator will say tan to the negative 1. That means that we are working in reverse to find the angle. Now we type shift tan, open parentheses, 4 divided by 5, close parentheses. The answer is 38.7 degrees. Now for the third trick, if you want to find the angle, use shift on the calculator. Let's do another example to find the size of the angle mark theta. We already know the opposite side is 7 metres and the adjacent side is 8 metres. Tan theta equals opposite side divided by adjacent side. Because we are trying to find the size of the angle, the unknown thing is theta. The opposite side is 7 and the adjacent side is 8. Remember we are working in reverse to find the angle? So we tell the calculator we're working in reverse, so you press shift before pressing the tan button. We type shift tan, open parentheses, 7 divided by 8, close parentheses. The answer is 41.2 degrees. Now let's summarise the main points. The tangent rule is tan theta equals O divided by A. It's easy to spot a triangle where the tan rule is used because there's no hypotenuse in the tan rule and there'll be no numbers and no x on the hypotenuse. In the working, when x is on the top of the fraction, do times in the next line. t for top, t for times. When x is down on the bottom of the fraction, you divide in the next line. d for down, d for divide. And when you want the angle, you work in reverse by pressing shift on the calculator. Thank you for watching this video.